All right, see there at the very bottom. Can you from the projector? Identity is only one word. It is called adaptation. What is it? Adaptation. What is that? Adaptation. Tell me the word, ma. Adaptation, me. Just to check it. The Google adaptation. Tell me the word. Huh? Think this only about 
progress and development and depletion of resources and uh, pollution of water, soil and air. That is my future you are killing. That is what that bird is telling. I'm going to play the video for you. All right. So you have got the right to defend your own future, which is soil, water, air, that is yours. And your parents are destroying it, your grandparents destroyed it, and your great-grandfather destroyed very badly from the 1850 Industrial Revolution. That is, started of destruction. Industrial Revolution was a destruction. So, Agricultural Revolution 1960s, we put poison to produce our own food, and we destroyed, we poisoned every species on earth. These are the two evil revolutions that destroyed planet earth. So we need to adapt, we need to come out of it, and we need to reject that kind of progress. We don't want it. So this is your generation should go on a new kind of revolution. It is called whole cultural revolution. That is what Pope Francis is writing in his recent encyclical Lauda University, the environmental document. Bold cultural revolution. That means you reject industrial revolution mindset, also agricultural revolution, dumping poison in your own soil, water, air, and thus everything ends up in your own bodies. You get poisons. This is we are creating a poisonous generation. So these are not stupid, these are the intelligent creatures. We are the stupid species. They are intelligent. Now what they do? No food, no water, no shelter. These children, they don't have future. Only two choices. Adapt or perish. You know what is the meaning of perish? Perish means? Die out, disappear. Only two choices here. There is no other choice. Die or live. Here, they want to live. So now what they are doing? The limiting factors. All low food, no water, technically, they are known as the limiting factors. That is the word you should learn. What is those? Say again, limiting factors. limiting factors. No food, no water, no warming, climate change, waste, uh, drought, famine, hunger, disease, limiting factors for life. You understood that? Now, they have only one option. So they are going to fly away to some other place where there is water, where there is food, where there is shelter and they go and find a beautiful place it's a paradise to live another 50 years it takes time they fly hundreds of miles with the children fly, fly, fly across this spot immediately their genes tell them that is the best place that is the best place for my future generation and at last they land. So we need to end up you stretch out your hands like this. Stretch out your hands. Yeah, that will hurry. You go in the front. Stand here. You are also like a cross. Come on. Hold the hands. Hold the hands. Back Oh. Come here. Come there. Okay, now you are going to walk straight and then again come back to the same route and stand in there. Open right, say ka 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 Okay? So say ka 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 Come on, say all of you because these people are not saying Go!
around as far. 100 kilometers they travel. Now they found plenty of water, beautiful lake, lot of fish, lot of frogs, lot of food, lot of beautiful tree, very tree. And they are nested there, so they adapted to the new ecosystem and the new lifestyle. That is called adaptation. We don't think that they are telling us it is completely different meaning adaptation. Adaptation means you just check in a way that an ecological adaptation. Tamil and Tamil Tamu, Sagavu, a mental folder, and a Tamil word. You should find that word before our course is over so that we can teach the children what it's all about. United Nations now, they have already prepared a document. You can download it from the internet. You just type the fifth assessment report on South Asia. India is one of South Asia. India, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, all Pakistan, all known as the South Asia. So you just type fifth assessment report on South Asia. You will get the document. All right? That document teaches you how to adapt to the present situation. Because in the next 500 years, all the schools, all the mothers, all the colleges will be talking about only one word called adaptation. Because if you don't know how to adapt, you are going to die. All the 750 billion people will die on the planet. So this is the most important message I came to give you. When we talk about adaptation, we need to save. Listen to me. It is called technical word conservation. Simply means save soil, save water, save air, and save all life on earth. Save Panjabhutas. They are sacred. Sacred. Don't spit on the soil. You are spitting on the face of God. Soil is sacred. We need to conserve sin. This is the definition of adaptation. See here? What is adaptation? Very carefully, why don't you, one of you read that for the crowd? Who is going to read that definition? Come here. One of you, come. Quick. I don't have time here. Come. Okay. Read it for the crowd. Read it. An adaptation is a mutation or genetic change that helps an organism such as a plant or animal survive in its environment. Continue. The IPCC describes adaptation as the process of adjustment to actual or ex expected climate and its effects UNO. I like to say that so much. United Nations Organization IPCC, Inter-Panel <coughs> Inter-Governmental Panel on Climate Change. These are the people, those who prepared the document about fifth assessment report on South Asia. So, the United Nations document, very important. Maybe in two, three years time, you will get lessons in the school book as you learn about the environment now. But right now in India, they are not introduced. They should introduce this education immediately. Otherwise, we will not have the ability to adapt to the next dangers we are going to face. All right. What to say? You should save all this to preserve wetlands, to save old buildings, to reduce energy consumption, to protect soil, water, and air, to preserve mountains, forests. Rivers to save plants and animals. See, conservation is the best thing, best thing. It is not GDP. It is not the, uh, what is that, money in the bank. No. Money is not the investment. Gold is not the investment. I think conservation. If I ask you, you need gold, silver, and money. If, if I ask these three things you want, or soil, water, air. What do you like to prefer? Very good. Give a hand to yourself. Come on. Thanks. Fantastic.
industry you did very well. So if I ask again, industry, technology, and uh, science, one side. Again, soil, water, air. What do you prefer? Soil, water, air. Or industry, technology, and science, and mining and GDP, one side. The next side is bees, ants, grass, and uh, butterflies. So what do you prefer? That's right. You answered very cleverly. Fantastic. You rejected all. This is an illusion. Our world is an illusion. So our minds are spoiled. Spoiled. Spoiled by all those parents. All like me, priests. All the leaders. We misled you. We gave you your wrong lifestyle and role model. Don't follow us. We will take you to the pit. We are all blind people. We are just passing the information what has been given to us without the examination. Like blind people, we are passing it, passing it, passing it. You need to wake up and tell, no, that is not right. We need to reject. We are going to show a new way. That's what you should show. Because we have ran out of ideas. We are fools. You have to show the way. You have to teach us. So in order to do that, you need to wake up, awakening to do. Your generation is smart. Very smart. Very, very smart. And you, you look at the cell phone, how nicely you handle. For me, take cell phone. It takes one full day to figure out one app. For you, all the hundred apps within one minute you download and configure the telephone. My phone is not a configure. Such a foolish we are. So you can teach us. So that is what I want you. Basically, I want to ask you first a definition about life. What is life? So it is simple. Life is defined by, this is all the dictionary to give you. Life is defined by consumption, reproduction, adaptation. Look at that. Consumption means all life eats, isn't it? All life eating, that is consumption. All life reproduces. They have sex, and they have their own children. They promote their own species, isn't it? All life. One thing we don't do that sisters and fathers, I don't know why. We don't reproduce. So we sacrifice or something. But you are all going to reproduce. The last one is adaptation, that is zero. The first two we are doing very well. India is having gold medal in consumption and reproduction. We are the second largest populous nation in the world. Within five years, India is going to get a gold medal in production of children. So we are 1.3 billion, very soon going to be 1.4, overtaking China. So India is doing reproduction part is excellent, excellent. Thank God, sisters, fathers, we are not at all marrying. We are going to reject marriage. We don't want children. Because India is too much, too much. We already got married, we added some few lakhs to them already. Uh, Overpopulation of India. So that is what we want to promote. Many people become nuns, fathers. That is good for them. Uh, but even though you are accepted from even their very definition of life, <laughs> reproduction, but please we need to stop at least 15, 20 years in order to save India. Otherwise, wherever you go, you go in Nandia, you go to the store, tsunami. Go to the school, tsunami. You go to bus, tsunami. You go to hotel, tsunami. You go to shopping center, tsunami. You go to temple, tsunami. Wherever you go, people, 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 people. That is no place. That is no place. Who was in India? Too many people, less than. China can produce even 3 million people. They are four times bigger than India. They can afford even 2 billion, 3 billion. But India, only 400 million. 
when india got independence 1947 only 400 million that is the size of india but we are three times more than the carrying capacity of india carrying capacity means how many humans india can support only for uh, that is 40 crore only humans india can support but we are 120 crore
they are greedy, violent, angry, selfish. That's why our environment tells you, oh my God, this Indian, India is not bad. Indian people are bad, inside. If you are good, kind, tender, Ahimsa practicing, Satya, our Nandiya will be like beautiful. There will be no sewage, there is no waste, because inside you, that beauty is there. Inner Swaraj is doing wonderful. So outer Swaraj also will reflect your inner dimension. That's what Mahatma Gandhi taught us. So you should learn about Mahatma Gandhi and stuff. So all these things we can solve if you are inner Swaraj. So this is the United Nation uh, adaptation. Adaptation is really good. It can give you new opportunities. Adaptation is not a bad thing. It is a chance to become better. We will become more richer. We will become more complex. Remember? Okay, well, another going and come and read that for me. Come, come. Come. Yeah. Read. Adaptation. See, adaptation is good here. So I am recommending adaptation to everybody. United Nations also recommend it. Come on, read. Adaptation will bring immediate benefits and reduce the impact of climate change in South Asia. Adaptation is fundamentally about risk management. South Asia has many adaptation options. IPCC fifth assessment report. That you see the IPCC fifth assessment report. That is what you could download. <coughs> It's a document, gives you every problem and discusses everything what's going on in India and they also give solutions to children how to adapt. You understand me? Okay. This is the best thing, adaptation. You are going to become more, India is going to become more beautiful. Look at the human species. We started there. See here? We started here. Came here, then became this, became this, became this, became this, became that, became that. Now we are here. You see, it is called anthropological evolution. It goes back to three million years. Thirty lakhs. That is the transformation. You see, the problems what we face today, limiting factors. Our ancestors all faced the same limiting factors: climate change, global warming, famine, drought. No water, all of them face. But here, the success story is these people have employed adaptation. They were put in adaptation. Not only in consumption, reproduction, that is less. Their priority was adaptation. He became almost died. He's going to, he would have died if he did not employ adaptation. Then he became this. See, the linking is adaptation. From year to year, linking is adaptation. From year to year, linking. From year to year, at the same time they are growing, developing. At the same time they are progressing. And same time they are becoming superstars. And then slowly here, adaptation, adaptation, adaptation. Now, if you don't adapt, you see ancestors taught us. That's why United Nations, just now you read the Southeast Asia. South Asia is having Lot of expertise on adaptation. Look at here what the United Nations is telling us. See, South Asia has many adaptation options. Our ancestors, Mohanjadaro Harappa, you know that? Industrial, industrial civilization. Have you read it? Mohanjadaro Harappa. Yes. No? In the span of civilization, you don't know? I think 8th, 9th day, you don't have that lesson. I'm surprised. Yeah. All right, see here, human species, see, Homo erectus, fire, he invented adaptation. Then he became agris, he invented stone tools, adaptation. Then he invented Homo sapiens, this is us, yes. See the revolution, like industrial revolution and agricultural revolution. Then now modern human we are here. See? 
we are here. Now, we have got everything, everything going against us. There is no value system going on. Loss of understanding, loss of reality, and loss of consciousness, Adam, that is righteousness, justice. We lost dharma, in other words. This modern man lost dharma. That is the basic thing. Why do you lose your dharma, your righteousness, your truth? You are not human being anymore. You become some kind of dinosaur. Dinosaur. So that is what is going on today. The future human should be adaptation. We should see spirituality, moral values. You should see your own inner dimension, what you have inside. You don't need anything from outside, gold, silver, money, you don't need it. What you have inside, look inside of you, how many riches you have. You have love, empathy, compassion, kindness. All this you should be getting PhD. Forgiveness, tolerance, sharing, sacrificing. It is not the mathematics, science, and the history and geography you get the PhD. You should get PhD in kindness, in tenderness, in ahimsa, in satya. Is there any university giving a PhD in ahimsa and satya? Nobody gives it. All money making, all money making uh, uh, educational system. And there is no life education. There is no integral. A human person should grow integrally. We should combine inner dimension and outer dimension together. Right? The inner we more. Only outer making money. So that is what we are facing today. Our children should look inside. You shouldn't look at science and technology, economic growth, high economic growth. And you shouldn't look money, GDP, it's all cheating business. Uh, that will not make you happy. Because everything what makes you happy is deep within you. Everything you have, even though you are a girl, you are a woman, man is already within you. You don't need an outside man to marry at all. The man is inside you. Even though I am a priest, I have a woman inside me. I live with the woman every day. I talk to her. The man and woman save only one Ardana is for her. Our sage is second, Ardana is for Our man, our human species is not separate. It is whole. Even though you are a woman, you are a man within you. You don't need out the man at all. That is illusion. That is Maya. Everybody has their own man inside, and also man has everybody their own woman inside of them. So, happiness and joy, everything you have inside, GDP also you have inside, your gold, silver, everything within you. You don't have to go to thunder, the earth and exploit the earth for more money at all. Eh? So, this is what where we are. We started here on the prolex, adaptation, we stood up, ah, now two legs they are walking, and then again straight up, adaptation. Now adaptation, adaptation, now this is the adaptation where we are. <laughs> we mountains, everybody can't adapt because everybody is fat enough, big, conscious, couch potatoes, everybody sitting there, they don't adapt, drinking beer, all mandu, mandu uh, drinking, all life enjoying and eating very, very bad food. So now we have only two choices, you die or live. If you are lying, then uh, you can die. Listen. Hey, why you are not shouting? No, 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 I am not asking. Just listen. So there are two types of adaptation. Physical adaptation, behavioral adaptation. So now, what is the physical adaptation? What you should do? See here. The physical adaptations are physical features of an organism like the bill on a bird. Or the fur. Hold on. 
only 10 minutes remaining. Huh? 10 minutes remaining. Okay. Listen. Don't talk now very seriously. So Darwin and Finches, they are born. See, they are same kind of birds, but the bills are different. See the bill? It's a thick, that is a little uh, lesser, a yes, sharp, sharp, four kinds of bills. Because they live in a different kind of environment. The top one lives on a rock, mountain, so it needs a thicker, that's a physical adapting that will. You see, this lives in a small tree, holes it needs to catch insects from the small holes from the tree. It lives in the tree. So at the beak, very sharp. So this is the physical adaptation the animals they develop in order to survive in their environment. This is the behavior. What is the behavior? Are the things organisms do to survive, for example, bird calls and migration or behavioral adaptation. One example is this. See the blue way, uh, no, no, it's a humpback way, a different kind of way. Same as the yellow way. Ways, what are known as Telugu? What they, no, no. What they used to tell uh, this way in what Telugu? Telugu, what is it? Timiga. Timiga. See here? This is humpback whale. See the baby? They have a behavior. They give birth in the shallow waters, warm waters like Mexico. Alright? They can't give birth in cold water. Why don't you just uh, stay and look at me? Already, already there are, I know that it is one hour to sit down here. It's a persecution and all that. So better you watch me. The last part is very important. See here? They can't give birth in cold water. Maybe will die. So they go to the shallow water. Because maybe in a deep water it will die. Because it doesn't know how to swim. So shallow waters, hot waters, warm water, give birth, and then again they swim back to the cold water because there is no food here. So for the food, a small baby also should go with about four thousand kilometers. They swim and go for the feeding grounds. That is a behavior. So there are two things you should do. One is physical adaptation. That means you should reduce your consumption, your lifestyle. That is the physical. If you are buying 1000 rupees per month, spend 500 and then reduce energy. And then if you are eating food from market, the genetically modified food and vegetables, you better cultivate home garden. The first thing today, the physical adaptation is all of you, teachers, teachers enforce the physical adaptation. Every student should have his own home garden, okay? And produce their own vegetables. They should never go to the market and buy any. Just produce your own vegetables with the traditional seeds, not genetically modified seeds. You should go for villages and get traditional seeds and organic farm. Don't put any fertilizer. Use goat excretions. Goat. Okay. Both are sheep manual. Alright? Will you promise that physical adaptation first? Because I want to be practical. So first home garden, only you cultivate your own vegetables for the whole family. So family garden is the first adaptation. And then reduce your buying, reduce your reproduction. And so you adapt to that. You have good healthy way of eating. So you are not poisoning your body. Understood that? So what is the behavioral adaptation? What you should do? I just told you. Behavioral adaptation is nothing but Swaraj. Didn't I say Swaraj? Didn't I say Swaraj? That is a behavior. You should change your behavior. You are inside very bad. Anger, greed, selfishness. Now you should change into empathy, compassion, and love. Did you understand or did you lose me? 
because you are not listening, I can see you. You are not at all concentrating. Everybody is distracted. Uh, as long as sister was sitting there, you were very good. Sister just went, you are. The mice will play, and the cat is there. You are not at all. Uh, last part is in. So I am telling you, behavior adaptation is. Everything should start here. You should find values. Money is not value anymore. Inside. You should think that behavior, I have everything within me. Today the world will not be saved by politicians. They will destroy more. It will not uh, be saved by economic growth, increasing GDP. It will not save us. The third thing is science and technology. These three things. Always they come on television and tell these three things are going to say. These three things are big lies the humanity has discovered. And these three things will never say. Only one thing will save us. Our inner resources of kindness and love, empathy, sharing, sacrifice. That is where we find a big change. If you find, bring out, Sakshaya Patra in Nagarbhi say. You have an Akshaya Patra. You know Akshaya Patra? You take and it will not be anything at all. So every one of these are the Akshaya Patra inside. You can take and give, take and give to planet Earth, to nature. That's how you conserve Mother Earth. And soil and water will be saved that way. So don't dig there anymore. That is old time. But now dig yourself within. And take it and give to Mother Earth. Mother Earth, you give it compassion. You give it love, you give us love. You cherish her, enjoy her. And be good to Mother Earth, kind to Mother Earth, Agip Sat to Mother Earth, Satya to Mother Earth. This is the quote I want to give you. Without all this, there is no life. And tell you one secret. If today, evening, all the 750 billion people die. All of us die. Tomorrow you think sun will rise? You think sun will rise or it won't? Yes. Tomorrow sun will rise, no problem at all. Sun doesn't know that we all die. Sun will shine, birds will sing, everything is normal. But if they all die tonight, tomorrow, can you live? Can you live? No. Without everything disappears. Only you are there alone like an orphan. You see like an orphan. Only orphanage, planet has become orphanage. Now it's becoming orphanage. See there, without the soaring birds, without the great forest, the sounds and coloration of the insects, the free flowing streams, the flowering fields, the sight of the clouds by day and the stars at night, we become in population. In all that makes us human. In other words, we will become mentals. Without them, we will become mental hospital. And we all become mad. That's all. I think we are going to finish Forward. now. Just a second. Okay. India has a good record. Uh, there are 104 national parks. India has higher important environmental sanctuaries. India has a very good record. I am very proud to be an Indian. Give a nice hand to India. We have, a, we have a very good record. We have a very good record. Hold on. We have a very good record in uh, adaptation and conservation. I think that tradition is to keep it up. Teachers can force them to be the adopters. Adopters. But not the Losers. So that's my name. That's my website. You can download all my books for free. There are 15 books. www.planetschaser.com. Watch yes in the middle. And you can download all the books. And you can, uh, that's my email. And in YouTube, you can just type my name. 